Hi clarinets and saxophones. I'm doing this video as one video on how to put together your mouthpiece because it's pretty much the same process for clarinet and saxophone. So you should have a cap for your mouthpiece. You should have your ligature and you should have your mouthpiece. Now, um, oh, and of course you need a reed as well. So your reed, while you're putting together your instrument, your reed needs to go inside of your mouth because we need to get that reed nice and wet. So you're gonna have to use a little bit of spit in your mouth uh, to get it wet. Usually about a minute is enough. Um, then when your reed is nice and wet, you're gonna take the flat side of the reed. Usually it says the brand, like this is a Rico reed. We want the flat side to go against the flat part of our mouthpiece. And uh, it's gonna go like this. You're gonna see that the mouthpiece is rounded and the reed is rounded. Our job and the goal of putting this together is to get those perfectly in line so that they're the same shape as each other. And if I'm looking from behind, I should see just the tiniest little bit of that reed poking over the mouthpiece. So I'm going to hold it together with my thumb and my finger, take the ligature and very gently take the wider end of the ligature. There's a skinny end and a wide end and you want the wide end to go down with the screws on the reed. I'm never gonna touch the top of the reed. We never touch that because it will break. And I'm gonna hold the reed safely in place with my thumb like this. And then I'm just gonna tighten the screws just until there's a little bit of resistance. Am I tightening it as hard as I can? No, you are going to break this ligature if you do that. Um, when it's complete, you should be able to see, um, here, I'll take my ligature off. There is a line. It probably isn't showing up well in here, but there's a little groove on your mouthpiece. Um, and that's where the top of the ligature should rest. So when I put my ligature on safely and I'm making sure that my reed is in line with the mouthpiece, the ligature should go just to that line and then I tighten it on. You don't want the ligature to be too high up here. That's not gonna work. And you don't want it to be too low either. Um, there should be about that much of your reed sticking out on the bottom and the top of the ligature is resting on that line, that groove that's there. Um, so that's one way to put it together. Personally, the way that I do it, and I think it's faster this way, is I've already got the ligature on there. I just lift the ligature up a little bit, slip my reed in there, and then line it up. Snug the ligature down, and then just do a couple of little turns. So that's usually a faster way of doing it. Um, it's up to you how you do it. Uh, I don't really care as long as it's nice. And I didn't do a very good job on that one because I did it really fast. Um, you gotta make sure that the reed is perfectly in line with the mouthpiece. The arc should be exactly the same. If you need help with this step, come and see me, but I need you to practice just putting your mouthpiece together at least five times. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect. If you break the reed, Come see me and I'll help you so that you don't break the reed the next time, okay? Practice this part because this is the most important part. See ya.